Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here today to talk about Buddha Babble, a self-published card game by designer Yuo for three to five players that plays in about five minutes for ages six and up. As you might guess from the title, this game relates to the Tower of Babel. You are building something. And Buddha is the Japanese word for pig. And what do pigs build with? Well, if we've learned anything, we know that pig architects build with straw, wood, and stone. And each of these elements is connected with one of the traditional hand signals, paper, scissors, rock. Okay. We all know RPS. We all know what pigs do when they're building. Well, they take three cards in their hand and they lay one card face up in front of them as a base. With three players, you have a dummy pile on the side. And go! You're all playing at once, trying to play cards onto any pile you want as long as the symbols are appropriate, right? Scissors cover paper, rock covers scissors, paper covers rock, and you refill your hand to three cards anytime you want, and you keep playing on any pile you want. And then when the deck runs out, everyone throws away all the cards they have left in their hand, and the player with the tallest tower wins. Except if they don't, because, Tower of Babel, moment here, you count the cards, and whoever has the tallest tower wins, except if they have three or more cards than the next highest tower. If that happens, they're struck down. God does not like a prideful pig out of the game. Okay? You look at the second highest one now. If that's three or more higher than the third highest one, out of the game. If it's only one or two higher, they win. If there are towers that are tied, well, if they're three or more taller than the next one down, they're both out. If they're one or two taller and they're the same number, they both win. All right. So you keep eliminating people until you find someone who's good, but not too good, All right. not too full of themselves. Or you have one player left in the game, meek little pig, just doing his own thing, trying to do a good job, but not full of himself. All right. Real stuffy, stuck up pig. Yeah, that player wins. And that's it. That's the game. I've played six times now on a copy purchase at Kobe Game Market. The game obviously plays very quickly, plays in less time probably than it took me to just explain it right now. It goes very fast, right? There's not much to it. There's two elements. Play anywhere you want. Be tall, but not too tall. Right? That's it. So this exercise in design minimalism, which happens a lot with Japanese game publications, and that's just a couple elements, and then you see how they play out once you actually put stuff on the table. And first-time players often are just playing themselves, playing themselves. Ah, I'll slough off on you because I just want to get rid of this card. It doesn't match. And I'll keep going, Woo! I believe that's a card! Oh, I lost. Oh, I'm too tall. All right. So, next game. Ah, I know what to do. I'm going to play on you and push you out of the game, because you're gonna have that jacked up tower. But someone else is doing that on you as well. And so then I win, because I'm just a little bit taller than you. Right. So you're playing off, you're trying to watch all the piles, there's four or five piles, so it's not very easy to do. And you just doo -doo -doo, play a few times, all right? and then move on to something else. It's a very quick little game. Again, not much to it, but it's quite silly and fast. So, Buddha Babel.